And today on Pimp My ThinkPad, we're going to be making some upgrades to the Lenovo ThinkPad T410. Nah, 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 guys. And guys, I'm just messing with you. Hello, guys, and welcome to today's installment of AA Computers and Technology. Now, I was messing with you regarding my presentation style, not with the content we have today. So today, I will actually be making some upgrades to the Lenovo ThinkPad T410 in preparation of giving it to my sister for Christmas. Now, I talked about it in the overview video of this ThinkPad, and you can check out that video. Uh, the link to that video will be down in the description. Uh, but anyway, she has a Dell Inspiron 3521. It's just awful. I've uh, been having a lot of issues with it and it's really just time to retire the thing. I think this uh, ThinkPad T410 is going to serve her much better. But before I can give it to her, I need to make some upgrades to it. I'm gonna throw in a uh, 480 gigabyte of data solid state drive, eight gigabytes of DDR3 RAM. Uh, the battery needs to be replaced. I bought a uh, genuine Lenovo 9 cell battery off eBay. Well, hopefully it's genuine. I mean, it has the, the uh, Lenovo uh, label on there. So crossing my fingers, hopefully this is actually a decent battery. Uh, I bought a Slimline DVD drive. Uh, this is the drive caddy right here for that 480 gigabyte uh, solid state drive. And I already talked about the eight gigs of RAM. And yes, the thermal paste on the i7 needs to be replaced because the fans on this thing are just screaming constantly whenever you have it on. Uh, so that is definitely uh, at the top of the list as well. And after I finish with the upgrades, I'm gonna load either Windows 7 or Windows 10 onto this thing and run some benchmarks and maybe play a game or two because in my last video, everyone was like, play Minecraft on it, play Minecraft on it, play Minecraft on it. And I guess I'll play Minecraft on it for you guys because uh, this has the, uh, uh, Quadro uh, MVS 3100 graphics inside this thing. Uh, not exactly, you know, the beefiest uh, chipset in the world, uh, but it should be able to handle some light gaming. Now, with the T60, all the screws uh, were labeled as to what exactly they released when you unscrewed them. This uh, laptop does not have labels next to the screws, uh, only on like two select screws, and that's kind of annoying. What are you doing, Lenovo? The uh, Lenovo slash IBM T60 disassembly was very, very, very easy. Um, I'm not sure if this is going to be the same way. So it turns out this system definitely isn't as easy to service as the T60 was. Um, so I do need to actually completely remove this plastic shroud to gain access to the CPU heatsink, at least easily anyway. Uh, it's very, very difficult to remove it at this point. I cannot get it out. Uh, but there appears to be like one more screw stuck in this thing and I cannot find it. Everything else is loose. Look, it's, it, it's ready to come out. Uh, but on this side, around this area, it seems like there's one more screw just like holding everything in place because it will not uh, come off. But if you look down here, there is not another screw in this area. I have no idea what is holding it in place. My camera's not gonna focus, of course. There we go. Now, as you can see, no screws remaining on this side. So I have no idea why this uh, top panel will not come off. It's getting on my nerves right now. It's like right in this area right here. It's just stuck and I can't figure out why. It's the most annoying thing. I looked very closely and indeed there is one more screw around this area, but as you can see, there is actually not another screw around this area. So that's very confusing. Like there's no access to it. Uh, maybe it might be under this rubber foot. You gotta be kidding me. There is a standoff right there and I cannot find the screw for it. As you can see, every time I move the upper case, um, it flexes the rest of the case where that standoff is. That is the last piece of this puzzle, and I can't, for the love of goodness sake, find where it is. I am not a happy camper right now, so I just went ahead and stopped while I was ahead. I don't want to completely destroy this laptop just because I can't find where the heck this one screw is. Um, so I just went ahead and slipped some new thermal paste under both sections uh, of the heatsink right here, and that's it. I'm gonna call the day as far as that is concerned. That should be absolutely fine. And once again, this is not meant to be a guide. Please do not use this video as a disassembly guide for this laptop. Um, but I did go online and try to find some disassembly guides for this laptop, and all the 
ones that I found had the user just take the keyboard off and then call it a day because they just wanted to replace the RAM. And that was very frustrating. So uh, I quickly got annoyed and just stopped looking. I'm sure there's uh, one or two disassembly videos that fully disassemble uh, the T410 slash T420 because uh, the T410 slash T420 are very common laptops. You know, these are all over the business field, um, all over repair shops and everything else. Um, very, very common laptops. And, you know, it'd be weird if there wasn't a disassembly video. But yeah, once again, I just stopped while I was ahead and uh, settled for just throwing some thermal paste under both the sections of the heatsink. So now I'm going to replace the RAM. So we got to stick on this side, stick on the other side. And then that's really about it. Going to replace the keyboard and then put all the screws back in and see if this thing still turns on after I manhandled it. All right, let's see if this worked. So I installed eight gigs of RAM into the system. Let's go ahead and power this thing on. Of course, I can't get into the BIOS because there is a supervisor password on this. Um, but I can still see if it boots and if it boots, we know that the installation was successful. So there we go. Yay, something went right. Yay, I actually know how to install RAM. I just can't take apart a T10 apparently or T410. I did a lot of stuff off camera. As you can see, I completely reassembled the laptop. I went ahead and slapped the uh, nine cell battery into the system. I also slid in the DVD drive. Uh, I didn't tape it because there's really not much footage there. I mean, for both of these, you just slide them in. And then also it's the same for the drive caddy, as you can see. I have my 480 gigabyte Adata SP550 solid state drive installed in the drive caddy. All I'm gonna do is slide it into the drive bay and then uh, close it up with the cover, and then I can start installing Windows on this system. Now, as per request, I will run Minecraft on this PC. Everyone was asking me to run Minecraft, so here we go. This is Minecraft version 1.11 running on the Lenovo T410. Now, inside the system, we have an Intel i7-620M, uh, dedicated Quadro MVS 3100M graphics with 256 megabytes of VRAM, and as you can see, we're currently getting uh, approximately on average 40 frames per second and that is with 8 gigabytes of DDR3 installed. This is the only game that I'm going to be demoing on the system because this is not intended to be a gaming machine. This is really just going to be an office machine for my sister and as you can see I went ahead and installed a bunch of office applications for her. Uh, the entire uh, Office 365 suite and then I installed uh, some other applications for entertainment like VLC uh, and stuff like that. For So for the past couple hours, I've really just been setting up this PC, installing graphics drivers, etc, etc. Um, so Minecraft is running just fine. Now before this, I did take the liberty to run two benchmarks and I ran Passmark and 3D Mark. And 3D Mark, eh, performance was okay. You know, it's Quadro MVS uh, 3100 graphics. Not the best in the world and not really intended for gaming. We were getting about 10 frames per second on average with that, um, and the pass mark scores weren't really mind blowing either. Um, but per just general performance, you know, actually using the system, it's a really fast machine. It boots up in uh, about 30 seconds, and you know, it's just all around a very, very snappy system with Windows 7 Pro 64 bit installed because there was a uh, COA sticker uh, under the battery. So I just went ahead and activated Windows using that. And I think that's about it for Minecraft. I'm not going to stay on this too long because it's going to get boring. I guess I guess I should probably break some blocks or something. Could just, you know, show you how frame rate fares uh, while doing different actions. And yeah, that's about it. That's all I'm going to do for Minecraft. So I'm going to exit out of this. We're going to close out of that. And by the way, temperatures on this system, uh, even, you know, without completely replacing the thermal paste, and I'm still kind of upset about that. You know, it's not that big of a deal, but I would have really liked to get in there and just cleaned everything off, but I was not able to. And I went online and looked at a couple different disassembly videos, and I could not figure out what I was doing wrong. Like, even after watching two videos uh, that actually tore the uh, T420 completely down, I could not figure out how to get this T410 completely apart. So I kind of feel like a goofball right now. Um, but once again, it's not that big of a deal to me. So I'm just gonna pop open a couple applications to show you how responsive this system is. Uh, with that 500 gigabyte solid state drive, I mean, everything opens like that. It is very, very, very snappy. So we're just gonna open up a blank document and that opened up just fine. Once again, eight gigabytes of RAM uh, with a Intel i7-620M 
this thing's going to handle multitasking just fine. I mean, we're going to be able to go into Chrome and just open up like 50 tabs, open, and I'll just keep going on and on and on, and the system doesn't skip a beat. I mean, this thing is just a beast. I really, really, really like this laptop as far as performance is concerned. Uh, quality isn't quite on par with the T60 that I have, um, but performance and, you know, just general usability is a little bit better, um, you know, considering that the T60 only has 3 gigs of RAM and a Core 2 Duo, and this has an i7 and 8 gigabytes of RAM. Plus, I really, really love this screen. The screen is absolutely, absolutely beautiful. I was trying to remember the screen resolution. It's 1440 by 900. It's a uh, LED backlit display. And as you can see, I went ahead and threw up a picture of my sister's dog in the background. So I think that's really going to be about it for this video. As you guys can see, this bad boy is boxed up and ready to go. And before I tossed in the box, of course, I cleaned it off because I had a bunch of fingerprints and thermal paste all over it. And I did not want to give it to my sister like that because it looked absolutely gross. So I cleaned it off and now this thing looks good as new. And of course, I also tossed in the power supply to go along with the laptop. Overall, I'm pretty uh, happy with how the project came out. Really, really like the laptop. It's gonna be much better than that Dell Inspiron that she has right now. Um, um, now I spent about 200 and I would say 10 bucks on this project overall, including the cost of the laptop. And I'm perfectly fine with that. Now, some of you are going to say, well, you could have just gone to the store and bought a new laptop for that price. Yeah, sure. I could have, but the specs are not going to be up to par with the specs of this laptop. And the quality is going to be nowhere near the quality of the ThinkPad 410. It's going to be some cheap little flimsy plastic Asus or, or, uh, IdeaPad or HP and I don't want to give her that. That's the whole point of building up this T10. I want to give her a laptop that's going to last for a long time. Uh, that's really sturdy. And that is, you know, actually school material. I uh, can get banged around, take a fall without skipping a beat. And that's exactly what the T410 is going to do. Now, I actually didn't run into any issues with installing uh, a operating system, despite the fact that the BIOS on this thing has a supervisor password on it. A lot of people were saying that I wouldn't be able to actually install anything on this because of that supervisor password. Did not run into any issues with that at all. Installed as normal. I did have to initialize the uh, 500 gigabyte solid state drive at first. That kind of threw me off. Uh, it wasn't detecting the solid state drive, so I just tossed it into a, a drive enclosure, uh, plugged it into my PC and initialized the thing, and then plugged it back into the ThinkPad, and then all of a sudden Windows 7 recognized it. Um, so that that was a little curveball. And of course, the fact that I couldn't get the laptop 100% open, which I'm not too worried about because it's not that big of a deal. Uh, temps are still okay. A little bit on the high side, with Prime 95, but you know, that is to be expected with this form factor of PC. And the fact that the T410 slash T420s with i7s uh, tend to run a bit hot. So that's gonna be about it for this video, guys. So if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, or if you wanna yell at me um, for the fact that I could not get the uh, ThinkPad open, go ahead and post a comment in the comment section. Don't forget to drop a like on this video. If you didn't like this video, please tell me why. And of course, please don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel. If you wanna support me, you can use my Amazon or eBay affiliate links. Once once again, uh, the link to the seller of that T410 and the link to all the parts will be down in the description. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. And oh, yeah, don't forget to drop a like on the Facebook page. I will see you guys in the next installment of A Computers and Technology.